Yeah, I want to record this just in case that thing up there doesn't work. I'm uh, the guard angel against government blundering and against media mouses who aren't here today. And what you have right now is these hardworking gentlemen here explaining to you what's going on down with the mighty people at the Nevada legislature and things that you might want to hear about, not hear about. Uh, I was, I'm a little curious about one of the bills that I am basically responsible for, but I haven't heard much more about it. I was one of the driving forces that caused the Indian, Native Indian nation to want to install, create an Indigenous People's Day. And apparently there was a hearing on it, but I never heard if there was a final vote or not. I was one of the driving forces that gave these gentlemen, hundreds of people, a hundred people in the room, gave them the inspiration to seek justice, which they ended up getting justice, and also to get their indigenous people they, to either correspond with or replace, um, who was that guy? The other guy came from Spain or somewhere, Lisbon. That guy, um, what was his name? Columbus, yeah, at any rate. I wondered what was happening to that bill. I'm here as a citizen to demand a couple of these bills that you create for citizens. I'm representing thousands and thousands of citizens, obviously, because I'm the only one who ever comes to the podium. De facto representation of hundreds of thousands of citizens. Anybody want to argue that? Come up here and change it. It's the Lord's truth. At any rate, number one bill. If I, was, if I was the governor, which I should be, I would just create a, an executive order and say, we're stopping, we're stopping these crazy um, boondoggle corporate welfare uh, public projects that have no meaning. They're things into the future's dreams that may or may not come to a fruition, and we need to fix the infrastructure here. I'm standing in here, and it smells like the sewer's backed up somewhere. Why don't we fix that? And... Uh, that's number one. Number two, this we need to have we need to have a committee created to have an honest drug testing situation. I was the driving force that brought marijuana to Reno, and now I'm finding out that hundreds and thousands of hardworking people are losing their jobs because the drug testing situation is so archaic, so anti-citizen. It turns the owners of these companies into mice. They're scared to stand up. A, a hard-working person goes down there and has a test, and according to the people looking in this PP bottle, some technician looks in the PP bottle and says, there's, t there's THC in there, that guy must be stoned. Fire him right now, and the, uh, and the nice smiley face, and the boss over there says, I'm sorry, I can't do anything about it. I mean, won't say it like that. I'm so scared of the drug people, I can't do anything. Thank I you, give Sam. up, I give up. Please fire that man and let me get on with my life. Does anybody have any Thank questions you. on that, what up, I just said? Up next on that. There must be something of interest to... Nobody, even okay, we're done. We're done. Hit the gavel. Hit the gavel. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Where's my gavel? We got it for you, Sam, right here. Oh, yeah. Mr. Warden, please.